Let's do sixteen. Point A, negative four comma one. It's in the standard form. X comma y coordinate plane. And it says, what must be the coordinate of the point B so that the line x is equal to two? It's perpendicular bisector of the segment AB. So let me put everything um into a picture first. And that will illustrate the question much better. So we are talking about the x and y plane. So let me just draw the x and y coordinate. So horizontally is the x, vertically the vertical one is the um the y. Let's label um the point A first, which is at negative four comma one. So I will go to the left, one two three four. So that's negative four, and then I'm going to say one is right here. So negative four comma one, this point right here, that's my a, point a, negative four comma one. Okay, and then what else do we have? He says that we have a line x is equal to two, and also we need also need to draw that line first. Let me make some notes on the side, because x equal to line it's a special line. So um, let me give you guys an idea. If you have a line that says, like when you have x is equal to two, uh, the horizontal the horizontal axis is the x value, it's the x axis, the vertical one is the y axis. When it's asking us to graph x is equal to two, we will just need to go to the x axis and then count one two. This is two, right? X equal to two. It's actually a vertical line. It's a vertical line. Because any points on this line, any point on this line, that has the x coordinate uh, is equal to two. So, for example, right here, I count two comma one, and this one can be two comma two, two comma three, and maybe like two comma negative five, just like that. All the axes right here, all the point, all the chord, all the x values on on this line is two. Uh, likewise, if you have, like, say, you have x equal to negative five, for example, then you just go one, two, three, four, five, negative five right here, and then it's a vertical line. When you have x is equal to some number. Likewise, so just some practice. Y and x. What happens if the graph is asking us to graph like y is equal to three, for example? So if I want to graph y is equal to three, I will go. One, two, three on the y, and y equal to three. It's a horizontal line. This line right here is y equal to three. So if I have let's say one, two, three, four, five, uh, I want to graph y is equal to negative four. Y equal to negative four. I will go down one, two, three, four, and then it's a horizontal line. Just like that. So that's the difference between when you have an equation x equal to two, which is going to be a vertical line, or if you have a equation y is equal to some number, it's a horizontal line. In this case, we have x is equal to two. So to graph that, it's exactly this one right here. I need to go to the x value two. So let me do one two. So that's my two, and I'm going to draw a vertical line. So this is the line with the equation x is equal to two. Okay, so this this is pretty much、um, putting all the things that we have. We have the point A, and then we have the line. And the question is asking us: I want to make sure that this line, this vertical line, is perpendicular. So we already have a straight line, right? Oh, sorry, we already have a vertical line. So the line that goes、um, up and down. Perpendicular means that you want to fall on ninety degree. So we already have a vertical line. We must make sure we have a horizontal line to make this perpendicular. Okay. So vertical line, we are going to have a horizontal line. So that's how we can make it perpendicular. And it's it's asking us to bisect. Bisector means that this line cuts whatever line into、um, two equal pieces. Okay, so he says, what must be the、um, coordinate of the point B? We know point A is right here already, and we also know that we we must have a horizontal line. 
So let me just give you an idea of what do I mean by that. We must have a horizontal line. But I don't know how long the line is yet. But I just know that it has to be horizontal. Horizontal line, it will be perpendicular to a vertical line. I need to have a point B somewhere on the line so that this will cut into that piece of the line into two pieces, the segment into two pieces. So what we're going to do is take a look. This is point A. So from point A to point, uh, from point A to this line, let me see how far it will have to travel. I have to go one, two, three, four, five, six. I have to go six units. Right, so from here to here, this segment here is six units. I actually need to just go another six more units, and that's how I can find my point B, right? So if I go another six units, so I'll start from here and then count. So I've start with two. I need a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So that will be six units. Six units, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So as you can see that from two to eight, we also travel six units. And if that's my point, then this line, x equal to two, will be perpendicular to the horizontal line and it cuts, into, it cuts this segment into two equal pieces. This is point A, point A to x equal to two. And we will have x equal to two to point B. Point B. And the coordinate for point B is, as we can see, the x value is 8, comma, the y value is also equal to 1, 8, comma, 1. So point B right here is 8, comma, 1. So let me, yeah, 8, comma, 1. See, I think you guys can see this. Okay. So 8, comma, 1, let me just finish this up. It's choice E. Choice E.